So we have our first excavation problem here. We have an excavation that's 4.2 meters deep and we're given the following ground conditions. 18.2 as kilonewtons per meter cubed as the unit weight and the cohesion is 25 kilopascals or kilonewtons per meter squared and an internal friction angle of the soil of 10 degrees and part A says the lateral stress at the top and bottom of the excavation that's what it's asking us to find so best way to start is by drawing a diagram so we can see what's going on draw the excavation uh, we know the depth is 4.2 meters as stated in the question and it's always good to draw the pressure diagram showing you the distribution of that pressure through the saw um, in the question it says find the top and bottom lateral stress of the, uh, at the bottom and top of the excavation so in a previous tutorial we went over that the equation to calculate the stress at the top of the excavation is minus 2 times the cohesion times the square root of Ka Ka being the coefficient of active lateral earth pressure and at the bottom here the equation to calculate the lateral stress is Ka the coefficient of lateral earth pressure times the unit weight represented by gamma times the height which is the depth of the excavation that you're looking at in this case it would be 4.2 times uh, sorry minus 2 times the cohesion times the square root of Ka so we can just go straight in and work out a Ka and that is equal to 1 minus sine the internal friction angle divided by 1 plus sine the internal friction angle so and we're subbing in 10 as the internal friction angle and that will give us an answer of 0 0.7 now all we have to do is substitute our Ka our cohesion value into this equation here and that will give us this lateral stress at the top so at the top of the excavation the lateral stress is equal to minus 2 times 25 times 0 0.7 the square root of that and that is equal to and remember to include minus because remember it's negative that we have as shown on the diagram here so it's negative 41.83 kilopascals then um, at the bottom we're just substituting in the values again into this equation so 0 0.7 times 18.2 times 4.2 minus the 41.83 that we just calculated there uh, we don't need to do it again and that is equal to a positive remember 11.678 kilopascals or kilonewtons per meter squared part B calculate the maximum depth of a potential tension crack now again um, if we go back to our pressure diagram we know that Z naught is from the top here to the middle here of the pressure diagram so um, we can calculate um, our Z naught as equaling minus 2 times the cohesion divided by gamma times the square root of Ka so we're just simply substituting in our numbers minus 2 times 25 divided by 18.2 times the square root of the coefficient of active lateral earth pressure 0 0.7 which equals 3.28 meters part C find the maximum unsupported excavation depth now you may remember from the previous tutorial HC can be simply calculated by 2 times Z naught so therefore 2 times 3.28 equals 6.56 meters now um, you could do it the other day which is um, HC is equal to 4 times the cohesion divided by gamma times the square root of Ka 
Now you may, you know, uh, just a little extra. You won't need to do this for the question, but you may want to ask yourself why is that equation uh, like that for HC? Well, HC is where. Let's do this in another color, so you don't get confused. Um, Ka times gamma times H minus two times the cohesion times the square root of Ka is equal to minus 2 times the cohesion times the square root of Ka. So uh, what we're saying is if we have the pressure diagram here that this value at the top here is equal to this value at the bottom here. So um, from what we've just written we can take this over to the left hand side and we can have Ka times gamma times H minus 4 times the cohesion times the square root of Ka is equal to 0 and if we rearrange for H we will find that it becomes 4 times the cohesion times the square root of Ka divided by Ka times gamma and that can be simplified to simply uh, 4 times the cohesion divided by gamma times the square root of Ka and all we're doing is substituting our h for our hc because it's a specific h value um, and it's this one shown on the pressure diagram here. A basic problem that we have solved here um, for excavations in the next couple of videos we'll be looking at more complex um, problems to solve so I'll see you in those ones